Hi guys and welcome back. So how to steal money from people who are farming airdrops? Yes, I know. Stealing? It sounds so bad, but the reality is that is just the normal consequence from what is happening right now. Because as we know, everyone is just rushing to get the next airdrop. And we have been talking so many times about airdrops. And yes, I can confirm you, you can make a lot of money through your airdrops. The point when it comes to this topic is that everything is just about uncertainty, as I said many times. The beauty, exactly as when, what it was happening when we were like in a gold rush, in that moment, if everyone is going into one direction, guess what? There is the opportunity to make money just going into the opposite direction. So when it was like the gold rush, it was enough to start selling tools to help them mining more gold. Well, pretty much the same is happening right now with airdrops. If from one side, there are people who are earning money farming airdrops, on the other side, the there are us as other users who want to help these farmers to take more money, but at the same time want to make money. It's not the reason why I'm, I'm using the word stealing is that because the APR that we can do through this activity, well, usually if we were like in a trad fine market, it would have been defined like something like you are stealing money because the APR that you are uh, offering, that you are receiving in exchange of a pretty much safe action, it is incredibly high. But at the end of the story, who cares? This is DeFi and our goal over here is to understand the logic behind and which are the different opportunities that this market is giving us right now. Today, I will share you a couple of opportunities and moreover, guys, keep track of all the tools that I'm sharing with you today, because if right now you are seeing a certain number in terms of APR, well, Nothing prevents, and to be fair, with any probability, this number will go up again even more just in a couple of weeks. The, all the tools that are, I will be sharing today, they had something like from 40-60% ROI just a couple of weeks before. So right now it's not so high, but it's slightly less, but still insanely high for a safe investment. Or better, guys, when I'm saying safe, I'm saying safe compared to just farming AWS. Farming AWS is high risk activity, mainly because you don't know how much money will get in exchange and everything is so uncertain and so risky. When it comes to just doing this, providing liquidity, and I will tell you exactly how you have to provide liquidity in order to maximize your gain, well, you will be literally stealing money from AWS farmers and you will be happy because I know Airdrop farming is not for everyone, but there are still other opportunities that from one side will help you, on the other, where they will help also airdrop farmers too. So just before to start, guys, let me say this channel is about educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's super cool, super fine. I love it, but please do always your own research before, guys. I'm saying it every time because it's so important. You need to, to do any kind of action, any kind of strategy that you apply. You have to do it in a conscious way with the awareness of which are the pros and the cons because nothing is going in a solo direction. Okay, guys, please don't forget also to leave us a big, big thumbs up. Drop a comment to the comment section. Let me know what do you think, which is your favorite strategy if you want to steal money from airdrop farmers. Is there any other opportunity I'm missing among the uh, different opportunities that I'm sharing into this video? If there is any, let me know it in the comment section. Let me know how you are behaving right now. As a first thing, let me tell you why airdrop farmers are happy if you steal money from them. And the whole point is that what they are thinking, I love airdrops. I have $1,000 and I do believe that performing all of these activities to uh, get the airdrop, I will get 2000 And what they say is that, well, what if I had like, instead of 1000 if I had 10000 I can multiply by 10 my airdrop too. So I could get 20000 That's a lot of money. So what they say is that, okay, how can I retrieve so much money? How, to, how can I get leverage on top of my uh, account? So that's the reason why they are start using money markets or applications that are automatically getting, giving leverage to their account.
exposure. Obviously, there are different applications, and I will show you them just in a moment. The whole point is that uh, so many people are rushing to get an airdrop with the highest leverage as possible. So the request for liquidity is getting higher. And guess what is happening when the liquidity is getting so high? Well, simply a single thing. And it's about the interest rate will go higher. That's re the reason why we have the, the possibility to make money just taking money out from the pockets of airdrop farmers. Yes, I know it's not getting the same ROI because at the end of the story, airdrop farmers, if everything goes right, and that's the point, if everything goes right, they will get more money. The point is that there is this big if. On the other side, we can make a ton of money just speculating on their literally greed of making more money. That's the reason why airdrop farmers are willing to pay interest rates that are insane. I tried out in order to understand how much airdrop farmers can pay. And there were days when I was paying something like 100% APR. That's insane. I was paying, paying interest rates like the same amount of my capital in a year. That's insane. If you think about it right now, the central banks are offering money just for 5%. An interest rate of 100% is simply stealing money. But even so, there are people that are doing that. Why? Because airdrops are paying much more. So think about this opportunity like this way. Airdrop farmers, they want more and they are willing, they are welcoming you to get a share of it, a share that is secure because they are saying, I will pay it no matter what, I will pay you in advance, but you have to give me more money in order to allow me to make even more. So that's the philosophy. Now that we have understood the real reason, the root of this opportunity, let's try to understand which are the platforms that are offering us the best interest rate. So the first platform that I want to present you is something that's pretty new. It is coming from InstaDAP and it's called Fluid. Fluid is pretty good application, something that I really love it, honestly speaking. And the main reason why I love it is because it's so easy to use. I do believe that in order to make DeFi going a step forward, what we need is a user experience that should be smooth. And this application is really as smooth as possible. What I give you as an opportunity right now is to deposit stable coins or ETH. And as you can understand, the APR is going from 20% to up to 27. So pretty a lot. If you think about it, we are talking about stable coins or ETH. If you think about it, when the whole story about Anchor Protocol came out, at that time, Anchor Protocol was offering us just 20%. And we were all of us like crazy. Oh my God, we are receiving 20%, so much money. Well, in this case, they are offering us up to 27%. That's pretty a lot, guys, really a lot. And the reality is that this APR can go even higher in the moment of a higher demand of stable coins and also ETH. If you're wondering why these API, uh, APRs are so high, if you go on borrow, you will see that there are different vaults. And specifically, in this moment, they are allowing you to do two things. From one side, leveraging Athena. On the other side, leveraging the airdrop of EtherFi and Eigenlayer. As long as these two airdrops will keep pushing in this direction, we could expect to see the um, APR going even higher or rem remaining around 30%, something less, something more according to the week. It will not last forever, guys. I will be completely honest with you. I'm not telling you that this opportunity will last for one year. I can tell you that with any probability, we'll see these kind of numbers for another couple of months. After that, who knows, but I'm not so optimistic because we are literally talking about free money, really free, free money that nobody is giving you. So pay attention to that. Going on, another tool that is giving us literally an insane amount of APR is called Pendle. All of us, I think we are already knowing Pendle. Pendle is allowing you to lock your tokens into the platform and receive in exchange a fixed APY. As you can see in this moment, or if you use UniEth, it is a, a liquid restaking derivative by Bedrock, 
uh, you will receive a fixed API that is about 49%, and this is just until uh, um, the 27th of June. There are different pools that are offering you different levels of APIs. For example, Puffer Finance, that is ending the same day, has an API that is around 53%, but it could be a little bit less. In this case, it's 44 and so on. So as you can see, we're talking about 40, 50, 60%. There, there were days that it was up to 70%. And that's a lot of money, guys. If you think about that just by locking your ETH, you can get so much money. That's insane because it means having a passive income on top of your asset maybe will be also appreciating to the next future that you are holding anyway with a really low amount of risk. It's not risk-free. And just in a moment, I will tell you also the risk of these kind of strategies. So pay attention because you need to be aware of the risk too. Uh, at the same way, you can also produce the same kind of strategy with uh, Athena, and as you can see, in this case, the APY is about 50%, so pretty lot. Just to give you an idea, Athena Airdrop is paying you an APY that could be around 150, 200%. That's the reason why on Pendle, you can find this APY, because what they are seeing, what they are saying, the Airdrop farm is that, okay, I will get 200%, and I'm pretty confident that I will get that amount of money. So I'm happy to pay 50% just to satisfy you to to use your liquidity. So that's the philosophy. And in the normal world, world having to pay 50% of APY, it's insane. It's literally stealing. That's something that I'm not saying that you will find that you will go to jail, but almost because it's literally insane. But in DeFi, this is possible. Going on, because there are another couple of opportunities. As you can see here, we are on Morpho. Morpho suffered a little bit more from the DPEG of Ransom because literally what happened with Ransom uh, liquidated a lot of position, generating also a lower income for Morpho itself. As you can see, the APR, APY in this case, about more 20% instead of something uh, closer to 30, but I can tell you that in just in the previous weeks, it was much higher. You can keep monitoring these platforms to check in which moment the APR is higher in order to, to get the maximum out. The same is happening on uh, Gearbox. As you can see here, the APY goes up to 23% for GHO, that is the stablecoin by Aave. On Sturdy, on the, on the other side, the APY can reach about 43%. So we are literally talking about numbers that are really, really high. What's the trick and what's the risk on the other side? Well, you have to be really clear in your mind how it works. Basically, as we said, you are providing liquidity, you are paid so much money. Other users are leveraging their own liquidity to get more points, more airdrops. What's the problem? Is that if for any reason, like what happened just the last night or a couple of nights ago with Ransom Protocol, that after the, um, the insatisfaction by the community, many people started to sell, causing a DPEG of the token that has gone down by 80%. Even if it regained the, uh, the pack just in a couple of uh, hours, the point is that many positions that were on leverage got liquidated. Fortunately, everything has gone pretty smoothly and it didn't cause any kind of problem for a liquidity provider like you that you want to just take the uh, easy money. But there is an if. It could always happen that in the process of liquidating positions, any of these platforms could be Sturdy, it could be Gear, it could be a Morpho, Pendle, or even Fluid. While they are liquidating positions, well, they can accumulate bad debt. It simply means that the moment when they are selling, they are not as fast as they should, or there is not enough liquidity in order to them to perform a, a liquidation that is profitable or at least into the thresholds that are avoiding them to accumulate bad debt. Bad debt simply means that even if they have collected from people, liquidity providers like you, let's say 1 million, they suddenly have just, let's say, 900,000. So it means that 100k is missing, so it's like a loss of 10%. 
most of the times, if something like that is happening, they are using the treasury, the resources that they are having already accruing during their time in order to defend themselves from these kind of events. The point is that even if it is pretty unlikely to have these kind of events because they are happening, but they are not something that is happening every day. You need to be aware of this possibility because this is something that can hurt you if you are not aware of it. A good idea is to diversify your exposure to these kind of platforms in order to avoid to have all the money just in one pot. Obviously, guys, it depends also on how much money do you have. You have because if you are just having 1000, it doesn't make much sense to diversify into different platforms because you will pay much more in fees. If you are having a lot of money, well, having everything in one pot, even if you feel that is the most secure platform, well, at least in my opinion, but again, guys, it's just my personal opinion. I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm just sharing and I'm just trying to help you to get the maximum awareness of what's the current situation. So guys, be aware of the whole scenario. Yes, right now, airdrop farming is giving us the opportunity to, to make free money, easy money, really easy money, pretty safe money. Obviously, it will never be remuner um, remunerative exactly as we are seeing with airdrops, but who cares? It's still money. So guys, let me know what you think about the whole story. Be aware of the pros and the cons. Feel free to share with me if there is any other opportunity I missed, and I will be more than happy to check it out. And please, guys, don't forget to leave us a big, big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.